controls. They got in through the vents. Oh shit! Let okay. nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! Are you kidding me? If it moves, kill it. What is this place? A tomb? This is not the place, guys. Got heavies, soldiers. Got a ladder here. You know what? We could do something the old-fashioned way. Oh shit. They're still looking. Do I have any reason to be up here now? <laughs> Primitive ways. It works though. It definitely works. Come on. If he falls for it twice, he deserves it. Okay, one thing we're gonna do is we are gonna switch this weapon, the war bow, instead of the trip caster. We also have some skills we can use too. Um, let's go ahead and grab this one. Kind of feel bad for toying with them. I'm gonna work around this way. Ross always said, patience. Interview, Tom Peach. Oh, we got him. That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities. So these mechanical monstrosities. They don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia. Wait, why did that go away? Why does that stop? This is a different one now. Here, I want to go back to this guy. That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to Bloody biofuel? In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. So this guy knows Get Pharaoh. Get off! Uh, don't. Please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Shit. Want to discuss? Oof. So Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas Bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and the lake of fire. It was always end times this and the lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco <laughs> cigarette. Sorry, darling. 
My taste run classic. My Compliment taste your run team, classic. Down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. We're too close to electronic like printer snatching grab. Now. The data points, what did they contain? For me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccino? Blood coffee? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. So I'm trying to figure out what all these candidates have in common, right? Brad Andak, formerly of FAS. Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Okay, so I'm seeing this one here. I don't know if that's going to take us up or not. Most likely it is. Interview Captain Okilo. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo. Are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, US Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though huh. the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said, so then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? No! Oh, I keep getting like these tidbits. Where the heck is this taking us? This is just ways to like navigate around here, I guess. We didn't want to take those guys out. Interview Susan Alpert. Being with Susan Alpert, environmental Environment. scientist. So these are all like maybe Doctor. experts in their field. I'm sorry, I wasn't. Uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the general said. Not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Counselor Guidelines. Okay, let's see this. 
for debriefing after presentation one. So people go through, they see the presentation, and then they're like, what the frick? They're talking to counselors or whoever um, to, to answer their questions. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they've received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential to stress that all other options for combating the feral plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environment impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm, addendum B1, and unfeasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar, or undersea structures, addenda C1, C2, C3, so that you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review the supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so the candidate can be monitored for attempts at self-harm. Candidates should only be clear to proceed to presentation two if you believe their mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are probably on standby. Okay. Field integrity maintained. Now this one, it's probably not on this floor, but I just want to make sure that we don't miss it. Art history, museum studies, PhD. There is some mistake. Wait. I don't understand why it was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm? The feral plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai. My friends, my family, they have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? Well, they We're will, at least. going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. Exactly. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? You were brought here because of your skills. So, hold on. Let's just do a quick... Formerly of FAS. Okay, fine. Data security consultant. This was like the sketchy dude. So basically a thief or a burglar. Molecular and cellular biology. Yeah, these guys are all like experts in their field as we were talking about earlier. Whew, damn. There's something over here too. Uh... Oh. This one's actually on this floor. Ron Felder, aerospace engineering. Yeah, 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 okay. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even Counselor understand probably doesn't know how anything. few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not going to happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for embryonics? Kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. <laughs> no one's getting off. Medical. Oh, man. Could you imagine this? Like... CBO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. So once you make it past the... You've heard the bad news. Counselors. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? 
What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system. What? And bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's Whoa. just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. What? From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around oh, the globe shit. will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed. Wow. But then, remade? How do you even. Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth. Did this for life for us but why Hades then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that I'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead they freaking better that's crazy. So like Hades is one of those things, right? What the heck? Jesus Christ, I'm gonna need answers like stat. Make your selection. You are now possession of information regarding the true nature and project uh, purpose of Project Zero Dawn classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Oh boy. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. Participation. 
you will be assigned to a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You'll be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week, and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing, will be transferred to the Elysium Sealed Habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives. Wow. You and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing. That's pretty interesting. Indefinite detention. Should you choose to decline participation in Zero Dawn, you will be confirmed conf confined indefinitely. You'll be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your decision to, uh, to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world. And within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague, and death within 18 months is due to the Pharaoh Plague. Sorry. And death within 18 months due to the Pharaoh Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who wish not to opt for medical euthanasia will be released. I wonder if this is the bunker situation. Medical euthanasia. The information you have just received understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify a counselor when you're ready to make your choice, or if you have further questions. Holy shit. Holy shit. What are we- oh, here. Counselor guidelines number two. Okay, for debriefing after presentation two, it is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly without additional coercion or without value judgment on the part of the counselor. Confirm our Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chance of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses, emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day, validate their hesitation, acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned, if possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles G01 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48-hour waiting period during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasize that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanized against his or her will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse the decision after which the decision is final, as we saw. Could you imagine? I mean, to me, there's like the obvious decision you would kind of be forced to make, but... Of course I'll do it. Okay, oh, we're going to see follow-ups from the previous ones. What I, uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo... They were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. A, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean... I will work hard, twice as hard, to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. So we're going to see some people appreciative like him, and others probably not so much. Susan Alpert, this is the environmental uh, PhD. If you're still nauseous, 
No. The inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You'd grow old together, with your loved ones, in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. Wow. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Oh. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. Whoa. I just want it over. Just I like see. that. Protocols require a 48 hour waiting period after which like and she the counselors followed orders like you know what no judgment i see here's how it works this is the aerospace engineering guy who was like i see what you're trying to do here is he to make sure i behave this time security for your protection would you like to discuss how you're feeling sure i'll tell you surprised no, Alert. flabbergasted. Alert. Like my Alert. own man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not leave. possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! Yeah. Yeah. Shackles? Shackles? Is this a special thing? What the hell? Huh. This is probably where they euthanized, I would guess. kind of in shock right now like oh whoa intruder get her are you Whatever kidding you do don't die now seriously come on Oh boy. You not need to get that shot off? Oh 
I'll take that. Frick. Not very subtle. Man, I think, okay, I'm actually, I'm going to take a break. Um, this is a lot to actually process. <laughs> Imagine being in their shoes. Um, but I am going to take a break, and then we're coming back. We're going to continue this. Um, this is awesome. This is like, this is what I've been waiting for. We're getting some freaking answers. This is amazing. I can't wait to see where this goes. Hopefully, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Ah, uh, maybe we should do maybe we should do another one. Should we do another one? What's this one? It's I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was? I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. Artemis was one of those exactly branches, to right? To be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this, and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Counselor said I might change my mind. When the counselor's I when it's done. I didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, okay, these are so cool. I do, I'm gonna take a break because this is a lot to absorb. And I'm actually gonna review what I've gone through here uh, to make sure that we are fully up to date on everything that's happening here. Cause it's a lot to take in. And um, this is like super intriguing. So uh, we're gonna see you guys soon. Take care, goodbye.